everyone. Thanks for clicking play on my video today. Today I wanted to go through, um, I wanted to do, start doing some individually um, based reviews, perfume reviews on some of my, oh my goodness, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna I want to sneeze so bad. I feel like it's there. Oh. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you need to sneeze and you, you're almost there, but you, mm, it just, huh. I'm sure I'm just going to sneeze like insanely loud out of the blue in the middle of a sentence. So hopefully I don't just put up with it. I've got a bit of a cold and I sound very nasally and <clears throat> not my normal self. So excuse me about that. Anyway, it's just been one of those days. My computers, I've got two of them, my laptop and my desktop right now. They're both having a moment. So I'm uh, trying to fix both of them. So gosh knows when this is actually going to be up on my channel because it might take me forever to <laughs> edit this thing if I can't get my computers fixed today. Um, so anyway, today I wanted to start off with Chloe Narcisse. Uh, this perfume, if I believe right, and because I don't have access to my computers right now, I can't even tell for sure. I want to say, I don't believe, I don't believe this was, um, it says the nose behind this is by IFF, but I, uh, during the, um, when was it? I mean, the early years, Karl Lagerfeld was, uh, the creative, you know, mind behind the perfumes he did. He was the um, designer behind, what was it? The original Chloe, Chloe, the one in that god awful bottle, but it smells really good. Um, so I believe he was the nose behind this. I'm not too sure, like I said, because I can't really check and I'm having an internet issue at the moment. But anyway, it's for this one right here. It looks like a, um, basically, a Narcisse Blossom or like a paper white um, and what everybody says is this is daffodil dominated by daffodil and I would tend to agree with that um, even though I think the smell comes from like a white paper white or a white daffodil the juice or this the feeling I get smelling this in this is distinctly yellow to me and to me this smells all over yellow flowers even though most of the flower notes in here are white flower, so it's actually a white, ba white flower-based um, perfume. But to me, excuse me, the feeling that I get from this is very yellow. The scent smells like juicy, tropical, delicious, luscious yellow flowers. But anyway, so we're doing this one right here. This is the EDP version. As you can see, you don't need to use a lot. I mean, that's I've had this perfume for a long, long time. And this is all I've used because initially when I first got this, I was like, oh my goodness, what did I buy? This smells terrible. I like sprayed it for about five minutes and then tried to scrub it off and put on something else. But recently I went through my entire collection. I cleaned out a lot of perfumes. So that's an entirely different series of videos. <clears throat> and I decided to give this another try and I'm really glad I did because in this last month this has been one that I've really really desired to wear and I don't say that about a lot of perfumes um, even some of the newer ones that I've gotten so I'm very very happy with this anyway let me put this down and <laughs> I actually wrote notes yay <laughs> Uh, what I'm doing in my collection is I'm actually making information cards for each one of my perfumes by collection and individual perfumes uh, because I really need to get a handle on my collection. I really want to scale things down and only get specific scents at this point in my life and maturity level. So I want to scale down on the amount of my collection and really focus on um, really, really interesting unique perfumes or classics to add to my collection because I sometimes even if I'm not that fond of a scent if it's symbolic of a time period or there's just nothing else like it then I definitely would look into getting that for part of my collection anyway so what I uh, wrote down before my computers completely went on the fritz 
is Chloe Narcisse. Um, the fragrance was released in 1992. The creative knows behind this is IFF. It's listed as a floral, feminine, sweet, with a bitter note. They make that very clear on Fragantica.com, which is where I got this particular review or information from. It says there is a bitter note, exclamation point. Uh, top notes are peach, pineapple, orange blossom, violet. Heart notes are gardenia, carnation, jasmine, and rose, and the base notes are cedar, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Now, for me, um, I smell the peach, but it's like a soft, fuzzy peach, so it's not loud. Um, however, the pineapple and uh, to me smells a little bit screechy, just a little bit. And then the orange blossom, which is one of my favorite scents, I just adore. I can definitely tell that. Also the violet. I can definitely smell the violet. Excuse me. Um, the heart notes, the gardenia, carnation. The gardenia is prominent, but it's not like a witchy gardenia. You know, it's very soft. It's creamy. Um, I love carnation uh, and lily notes. So obviously I love this in particular because of that. Uh, lily or the paper whites and the daffodil though those are all a variation of lily jasmine and rose I'm not a fan of jasmine scent I'm not a fan because oftentimes in perfumes it's just so overwhelming it's so strong and and sometimes it can just go very sour on me so thankfully that note for me is not overwhelming and I love rose scented things so that's always a plus in any fragrance uh, base notes, I definitely can scent the cedar. It gives it a, a greener, more, it's just a green edge undercurrent to the scent all the way through. Sandalwood, and I can't smell vanilla too much, which I'm grateful for. A lot of people like vanilla. It's definitely not one of my favorite notes in perfume. I think it, it adds a good anchor, but as far as being like a prominent note in perfume, not fond of that. And of course, I love musk, so that's that's excellent. Now, uh, when I was testing this out, I'm going to This is definitely one you don't want to go you might die because it's very, very strong. So I just sprayed and kind of let it waft out. Definitely do not spray and then leave the house because this is very potent stuff. Very, very strong. You might make people ill. So think about that. This is definitely first thing in the morning, spray, let it settle, let it warm up. Um, it also wears very strongly on clothes. So be aware of that for me at least. Uh, Chloe Narcisse. Uh, carnation, slightly screechy, green but very sweet. Top note is all sweetness, a juicy feeling, a balmy, warm, spicy, tropical note. The gardenia to me I'd listed reminds me very much of plumeria or frangipani. Orange blossom, I think. Definitely this is a yellow creamy floral. It is very warm. When I say creamy, I mean like a warm tropical floral. Mm, yes, very feminine floral, but it's not shy. Like I said, very, very powerful stuff. Very potent, very strong sillage or sillage, very strong. I've had people uh, comment that I smell good, but wow, what's that? And that was hours after spraying this stuff on, three squirts. Um, so strong sillage. I detect a soft violet-like powdery candy, sort of like violet mints. Um, throughout the dry down. Right now though, when you first spray it, definitely you get that peachiness to it. So, mmm, yeah. And I wrote down that it was discernible and particularly during the heart phase. So like midway through the dry down. To me, it's a spicy and very sweet yellow floral, daffodils, lilies, covered in honey, surrounded by orange groves blooming in the hot summer heat. <laughs> yeah, that does fit. Um, I think it's quality and uh, color remind me of an essential oil and that's true because the juice in this thing is amber colored. What did I write? Exudes warmth all the way to the very end. Yes, like I said, that color is gorgeous, gorgeous. I love amber. I love orange. I like things that remind me of like a 
blazing sunset over like blue seas. It's just gorgeous. So yes, the juice is amber colored, exudes warmth. Ah, uh, very, very wistful, exotic, and there is an understated sensuality to this that trails you. Yes, that, that's definitely true because I've been wearing this so at night, during the day, so I feel like I've had a um, good experience kind of in different times and day and weather pattern um, by which to really understand how this scent works for me. Um, it's discreet but silky and expensive smelling. That's true, which is a delight because this thing is so cheap. You can get this out of Marshalls, at discount stores. You, I think you can even find the small one at Walmart. Um, the bottle shape is delicate and simple. It's very true. I like it though. I like it. Um, it gives off a dainty and girly appearance because of how it's just, it's like a little, I don't know. It, it just looks very dainty and girly. Um, like a single plucked flower is what I wrote, which is essentially what it is. It's like a little, little flower and it's just very elegant, very girly. I like that. I do wish that the top though was made out of glass as it is. It's just made out of a frosted plastic. The, this is glass and this is very simple, very well done. If that was made out of frosted glass, this would be a beautiful bottle. It's just, this is plastic. Uh, I think they did make the parfum, the one with the frosted glass stopper that oh man if i could have had that oh that is a beautiful model and with the smell it just smells decadent smells extremely feminine and just very beautiful i am really liking this scent i'm so glad i decided to give this a second chance and i'm really looking forward to wearing this during spring and summer i think the heat will really help the flowers and notes in here to bloom and for some people that can be maybe not their thing because a lot of people don't want to smell that strong. Um, but as for me, I really like a strong perfume. I just don't see the point in spending money, whether you're spending 20 bucks or you're spending $200. I don't see the point in spending money, any amount of money on something that you've got to spray like 10 times in order to smell the same. To me, strength symbolizes quality or at least good ingredients. I mean, it's the same thing with regular spices. Good spices, you don't need to pile a lot in. They're there. You only need small, minute amounts to get the desired effect. I think the same thing applies for most fragrances, especially these days. And, uh, you know, this was released in the early 90s. I graduated high school in 91, so for me, even though this was not something I ever had experience in with the 90s, it wasn't until recently that I bought this. Um, yeah, this, this kind of triggers back some memories from oh so long ago. So it's exciting and I really like this. And this one I feel like I want to wear a lot, so that's really nice. And I only have, like I said, my other um, Chloe perfume is Original Chloe by Chloe, like Carl Lagerfeld. So I look forward to doing that one next and posting that hopefully sometime um, later on this weekend. And I haven't found any other Chloe perfumes that I'm really dying to like purchase. There's just, these two are the like the oldest ones. I, I believe it was Chloe, the original, and then Narcisse. And all the ones since then just don't float my boat. They're so weak or they're so, there's, they're, it just doesn't seem anything special to me. And you'll notice too, these two Chloe's in comparison with the ones that come out now, the juice is like water. It's like colorless practically. And I don't know, there's something about these orangey amber color juices. They just, to me, mm, scream feminine power to me and I really really like that it's definitely more my um my personality so anyway this is for Chloe Narcisse this definitely for me longevity eight sillage like a nine this stuff is strong so you sparingly unless you really really want to rock your perfume perhaps on a night out but this is very very powerful stuff 
bottle, I definitely give like a eight. Like I said, if this was glass, this would be a 10. Uh, but other than that, price is very reasonable. You won't, probably won't find as good quality of a juice anywhere for such a cheap price. Um, cause you can buy this pretty much at a discount store nowadays. Very underrated fragrance. I'm surprised, <coughs> excuse me, more people don't talk about it. So, yep. Anyway, Chloe Narcisse, thumbs up, two thumbs up for me. I'm, you know, between eight to 10, this is really, really good. I'm really, really excited about it. So anyway, I'm going to put that down and let you guys know that I am really looking forward to doing my perfume collection. These cards that I've made for pretty much all of my perfumes is going to help me to be more consistent in putting up um, weekly videos of individual perfume reviews as well as um, house and collection reviews. I'm categorizing everything and I'm working really hard to plan out my videos so that I can put up consistent content for you. I have other things in mind too. I'm not really sure where I'm going with my channel right now. I feel like I want to do vlogs or um, something a little bit more so you can understand why. Hi, sorry about that. My <coughs> memory card got full so I took care of, popped another one in and I'm back. Anyway, um, to continue on with Chloe Narcisse, I believe I was telling you the uh, longevity was eight. The sillage on this to me is like a nine. Uh, the bottle design would be an eight. It would be almost a 10 if this was actually made out of frosted glass, but it's plastic, so I give that an eight. And anyway, excellent choice. I would highly recommend this um, because I don't believe price necessarily means a um, first class perfume or cologne. Uh, but in this case, this is a very well designed perfume, extremely reasonable for what you're getting and the general aesthetic of the bottle. It's very classy. You can't really go wrong with this. If you're not fond of strong scents, spray very little. The sprayer itself is really nice. It allows you to, you can give a light dribble or you can full on give a strong spray and it's very finely sprayed so it's not like throwing juice everywhere so I think that's an eight as far as a sprayer or the application goes I would definitely recommend this um, all ages I'm not an ages when it comes to perfume oftentimes I find what I like tends to put other people off or they think it's old lady or grandma and um, I just know what I like and I really like this so I hope you enjoyed this really in-depth review on Chloe Narcisse and please look forward to my next review, which will be on Chloe, the original Chloe by Karl Lagerfeld here soon, hopefully by the end of this week. Thanks so much for watching and I'm putting up with my ramblings and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.